51 degrees and clear skies today in Brighton. And after a doubleheader split on Friday, the Boston College Eagles look to secure their first conference series win of the season in a matchup against the UNC Tar Heels. Thanks for joining us at Harrington Athletics Village alongside Luis Sanchez. I'm Joe Weil. Well, both Boston College and UNC came into this weekend with a lot to prove in ACC play. And Lewis, both teams have a big opportunity today. Yeah, North Carolina looking for the Ooh, series. We saw some action against Liberty. We were told today that she might be done for the weekend. That's driven high and deep to left field. Steve looks up, and this ball's gone. Two run shot for Hannah Slyke. And the Eagles take a 3 nothing lead. Abby Dunning, a star in the making here with the Eagles in her sophomore campaign. 2-2. Swing and a miss, strike three. Abby Dunning strikes out the side in the third. 3-1. Off the end of the bat, shallow left, base hit. Two runs coming to score. The throw comes into third, it's not in time. A two-run double for Bree Stubbs. And the Tar Heels are now on top six to three here in the sixth. They always say major setbacks are platforms for major comebacks. Ground ball through the right side, base hit. One run comes in to score. Here comes Stubbs. She crosses home plate. Two more home for the Tar Heels in the sixth. A two-run knock for Abby Settlemeyer. And UNC now leads 8-3. to three. Bottom of the first Eagles. inning. The Tar Heels went down 1-2-3 in the top of the first. And here is the starting nine that the Eagles will roll out on the offensive side of things. Maddie Carpe leading things off. And then Hannah Slyke in the two spot. She leads this Eagles team in batting average, hits, runs, and slugging percentage. But she also comes into this game with a 12-game inning streak. Yeah, picked up a hit in each of the games of the series on Friday. You see Lily Backus getting the start again. Again, a rematch of Friday's pitcher's duel. And Backus, maybe one bad inning. Everything else was really good. She dominated strike zone, really fooled BC's hitters a lot in the box. We'll see if she kind of learns from that performance on Friday, shuts down this Eagles lineup. And it was a nice battle back effort for the Eagles in that first game of that twin bill. Counted 2-0 here on Carpy, who's batting 2-0-4 uh, on the season. But... It was in the third inning. UNC takes a 1-0 lead, but the Eagles came right back with three in the bottom of that frame and ended up winning that game 3-1. Swing and a miss. And so far this season, the middle innings, the third and the fourth for the Tar Heels have been really difficult. It's the two innings that they are being outscored in while every other inning so far this season, they've been able to outscore their opponents. But those two have been the ones that they have to get through. Those are the second and third time around the order. Down at three and one. But it's it's an important part, right? When you get to see the famili familiarity of a pitcher that second or third time around, you realize the adjustments that they're making as a hitter. You want to make those adjustments as well. BC was able to do that in game one. Again, Lily Backus is a dominant person in that circle. So we'll see if she makes the adjustments. As everybody knows, she can. Hit on the ground to the left side. Off the glove of the third baseman, Middleton. And Carpy is aboard with a leadoff single. Well, this is just good hitting, getting on top of it. Kind of a half swing on this opportunity by Carpy. And then off the glove of Middleton. Alex Brown was making her way to cover Middleton, but because it ricochets off the glove, it goes into that open space, and leadoff runner is on for the Eagles. So a good start here for the Eagles here in the bottom of the first, and here is Hannah Slyke, 319 hitter on the season. That's popped up. Shallow center. Stubbs calls everybody off and makes the catch. Let's take a look at the defensive alignment here for North Carolina in this game. Just mentioned Bree Stubbs in center. Skyler Brooks out in right. Person Sneed in left. The shortstop today, Alex Brown, Destiny Middleton at third. Abby Settlemeyer at second. And then Kirsten Lucea at first. Isabella Emerling doing the catching today. Here's Abigail Knight, the iron horse for the Eagles over the last two seasons as she takes one outside for ball one. She played every game and started every game last year. That's been the case this season as well. Yeah, making the move to third base, and she's really a utility player. You put Abby Knight anywhere on the field, and she'll make plays right back in her more comfortable position at third. That's lofted foul, third base side, and it's great to see for her because she missed all of 2021. So she comes off the season 
in which she doesn't play at all. Of course, her freshman season shortened due to COVID, but she has been out there every time the Eagles have taken the field. Yeah, part of that middle infield last year a lot with DJ Levito at short, DJ Valido at short, and Knight at second. Pop up third base side, Sneed gives it a look and makes the catch on the run. She did drop it, and now they're gonna say it's just a foul ball and a strike. Gotta make that catch all the way through the contact with the wall there on the dugout. It's a great chase down by Sneed and gets there in time, but just that contact right there with the wall is gonna pop the, the ball out of the glove. These outfielders, man, they've been so special. This is why these teams are so competitive in a lot of their games is they have such great defenders. One, two. Drilled in the right, base hit. The ball goes all the way to the wall. Carpy stops at third. Knights aboard with a double. And the Eagles are set up. Runners at second and third with one out. This is just good patience by Abby Knight to take this pitch to the open space in right field. Gonna lay back on it, swing right all the way through. That plant leg rotates. It's just a good piece of hitting. And again, a good chase down by Skylar Brooks on the outfield to make sure that Maddie Carpy stays at third. Good relay to keep that ball in the infield before a run can score. But back-to-back -back hits where Lily Backus has left it a little bit over the plate and Boston College has made her pay. Well, both teams have been searching for offense throughout the season. As you can see, both teams below four runs in terms of what they've averaged this year. Pitching has been impressive on both sides. The Eagles sub three ERA, and UNC a little bit over that. In some trouble now, second and third, one out. And Nicole Guyrie takes a strike. Uh, when you're a pitcher and you have a pitch that you know you could go to to get a strike, that's Lily Backus right there on the off speed, trying to get ahead on the hitter. It's the strike call. A one from the sophomore. Lined into center field, base hit. Carpy comes in to score, the throw comes to third, and Knight is out. She waited to see that ball go through, but it's an RBI for Nicole Guyry, and the Eagles take a one nothing lead. Guyrie's going to get a piece of this one and find the gap. But again, it's on it's on the throw here. Knight is kind of caught up in no man's land and then decides to break late. And that's just another great throw by Stubbs. Here's Cameron Warman now, the designated player today for the Eagles. That's outside for ball one. Well, we highlighted it in the open. A great throw she made in the double header. She threw out a runner at home. And going back to game two as a baseball from uh, the baseball game as Boston College and NC State are taking off, uh, facing off just not too far from here. But going back to that catch from Stubbs, that was in the third inning. Two runners on for the Eagles and one out. Let's go, Cam. Boston College was rallying, trying to get some runs on the board. She makes the out with the sun just over our broadcast booth, literally right in her eyes. And then a straight throw down to home to end the inning. That gave UNC a lot of confidence going into the next inning. One ball, one strike here on Warman. So the Eagles have jumped ahead here in the series finale, looking for their first ECC series win of the year. Swing and a miss, one and two. And this is a fun matchup between two sophomore aces. One on Boston College, obviously, Abby Dunning, and then Lily Back is here for UNC. These could be two players and two pitchers that we see for many years to come. One, two. Two yeah. balls and two strikes. You mentioned that the ACC, just in general, there's so many young talent, so much young talent. You look at what Clemson's been able to do so far this season. There's so many good storylines, and yeah, the young players for for the first part of this conference, part of the season, have been the ones standing out the most. Ground ball to second. Settlemeyer throws to first, and that ends the frame. But the Eagles take the lead as Nicole Guyrie comes through with an RBI to put Boston College ahead here in the series finale.